text from my kid who was staying at my house while I was out of town. It says, hey dude, almost about to leave your hey place. Hey dude. Yeah. Almost about to leave your place. Thanks for letting me use your laundry. By the way, I just saw a mouse in the kitchen from the couch. So you may want to get a couple of traps. I yelled at it and it hid. <laughs> so here's your kid sitting on the couch. Yeah. Oh, dude. Saw dude and everything. And he's like, hey, get out of here. Get out of here, mouse. So I said, crap, okay, a mouse or a rat? He's been to college. He goes, is the difference that rats are bigger? <laughs> And bonita fish are big too, kid. And I said, yeah. And he goes, IDK, man. I, I don't know. Maybe a rat. Had a good sized tail. Was it huge, though? It happened real quick. <laughs> Popped out about halfway. I yelled at it and stomped, and it took off back towards the fridge. So it's home. So that's where I have to come home to, is knowing that there is a rodent in my house. I'm wondering how it got in because I don't leave food out. I'm a relatively clean, neat person, especially if you're going out of town. You, you take, make sure you take out all your garbage. You don't leave dishes in the sink. None of that, right? They like, get in no matter what. Somehow, and it must have been when I was bringing in groceries or something, you got in through a door that was left open. So, is there a place out there that can fix robots? Can fix robots? Yeah. I mean, it looks like we're going to need a little robot repair. We can't repair. Even fix a, a horse's bones. We can't even fix a horse's okay, bones. Okay, all right, that's right. Much less robots. I should have thought about that before I... Every that theory cannot up. be proven. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever think that you would issue that line? What? Is there a place out there that can fix robots? <laughs> no, but Mr. Robot returns this week. This week? I think so. Oh, I love Mr. Robot. I still never watched season one. Oh, dude. dude. It's right up your alley, bro. Yeah? Mm-hmm. With it, man. Rah. Come on. Fry straight. <laughs> And there's this question mark over his head. For just a half for, Yeah, second. for like <laughs> Fry Street. Bill Walton's kid. Elton John. No appeal process. No appeal. Cell phone. <laughs> Wrap it up. I don't know if we're supposed to be laughing. I can't tell. Are we? I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. Isn't it great to be able to laugh a little, though? Yes. All right, we gotta go. That was fun. <laughs> So anyway, I get home, and I'm thinking, all right, well, I don't want this thing running around the house. So I get a mouse trap, a, a standard issue, old school wooden mouse trap with the bar, the metal bar. Not a rat trap, a mouse trap. Did you put cheese in it? I put a little bit of cheese and covered the cheese with peanut butter. That's what you do to catch ratas. And I set the trap by the refrigerator. And I end up running some errands, come back, nothing happens, you know, I check it before I go to bed. Hey, by the way, don't you, when you walk in there to the kitchen, because I've done this before, don't you walk slowly oh, because you're yes. afraid of what you might encounter? Yes, yes. yes. you're kind of squinty. Yes, you're like, no! 
I, and I don't like, man. Th those, those rats and mice hate them me out. Hate them. They freak me out. Critters in general. I'm not a fan. So, I end up going to bed. Everything's fine. And I'm in the middle of a dream. And I hear... No. Snap! Followed by... Oh no. Something is trapped and it's still alive. So I wait about a is minute. It's flopping around? Yes, it's flopping around. And I, I can't see it. I'm just like under the covers, just freaking out. So the flopping stops. And I get up and I turn on a light. And I see the image of. Oh, it's a rat, dude. Oh. What had happened is rat went in to get food and the trap came down and caught him by the skin on the side of his head and his ear. So the trap is attached to the rat. And the rat is laying there and I'm thinking he's... Looks like he's dead. But I'm thinking there's no way that that little trap did enough damage to kill this sucker, all right? So I get it close enough and I take a picture of it. I don't know why. And I realize Take a picture of it. And I realize that his eye is looking at me. And he's breathing. So I freak and I run to the living room. And what do I grab? A book. No. Uh a hoe. A shoe. Wrong on all three. Nope. I grab the Red Rider Daisy BB. No! What are you doing? So the Red Rider Daisy BB gun is sitting up in your living room, just ready to be grabbed at all times? All times. All times. Protection. I grab the Red Rider, and I'm in the dining room, and I can see the rat with the trap stuck to his head in the entryway of the kitchen. So from a distance of, I would say, about 10 feet, I draw a bead on his body and pull the trigger, and it hits him. But it doesn't penetrate the skin. But what it does is it revives him. <laughs> <laughs> he comes back to life and starts running <laughs> through the dining room along the baseboard with trap just dangling from his no head. No way! Yeah. And he ends up, ends up underneath the desk with a, a mouse trap stuck to his head and he's, sque he's squealing. No! So, at this point, I can't really see in there. It's under the desk. Dude, I'm shaking. <laughs> I'm shaking. So, I go... I'm freaking out talking about it right now. So, I go into the kitchen, and I get these, these awesome little uh, tactical flashlights. You familiar with those? Yeah, of yeah They're really, really powerful, and yeah. you can zoom in. Yeah. So, I get the tactical flashlight, adjust it, cut to the barrel of the BB gun, and I zoom in on the rat. And there he is. So I cock the thing, fire, and it feels like it's misfiring, like nothing's coming out. And I do it again. And it just doesn't, because normally if, if you shoot at something, it, most of the time you're going to miss and it's right, going to hear something. Yeah. You're going to hear something. So I do this four times. And then I zoom in on the rat and I realize, holy crap, not only did this thing not misfire, but I got four direct shots right into his neck. And there's blood everywhere. Is he still alive? No. Oh, God. The rat had been exterminated. Okay, a mouse or a rat? Is the difference that rats are bigger? Yeah. IDK, man. Maybe a rat. Had a good-sized tail. Wasn't huge, though. It happened real quick. <laughs> Popped out about halfway. I yelled at it. 
at it and stomped, and it took off back towards the bridge. What, what, but what, what's so great about that? <laughs>